It's still a spooky month and Shudder release a bunch of original movies on their platform when it's original sometimes but sometimes they just buy the IP. Night of the Hunted is one of those films but is it worth your time? Let's talk about it. When an unsuspecting woman stops at a remote gas station in the dead of night she's made the plaything of a psychopath sniper with a secret vendetta. To survive she must not only dodge his bullets and fight for her life but also figure out who wants her dead and why. It's been many years since I found a film as frustrating as this when we got to the ending. The initial premise of it is interesting. The small closure of this petrol station where one person has to survive a sniper that is perched somewhere far away. It's at night so you can't see and you have to use the thing in the store to survive. There are so many ideas that could work in this movie and there is some tension. The thing is it takes way too long. There's a lot of monologuing between Sniper and our main protagonist. They talk about things in the world and it's very very preachy. It's not even subtle about the themes or the things it's trying to say. It just kind of slaps you in the face about what is trying to say and that I found annoying. That was just one of the things. The fact that it takes so long to get to anything tense. There's this long time adjustments where she's hiding or screaming or you know dragging and he's saying answer this and he's doing that and it's just very frustrating to watch because it's boring and this film shouldn't be boring. It has a premise that should make it very scary but there are a number of other things that were very frustrating. You could have taken all the gadgets she has in the store and used it in some way they'd slightly do it but it just feels like a protagonist isn't that smart there are so many times in this movie where you will be shouting at the screen going why aren't you using this why aren't you macgyvering this way why haven't you gone this way why you've done that thing there's so many times our main protagonist could have survived or escaped the situation. It's also very predictable as to where the film is going to go. However, some positives. There's some gory moments that I wasn't expecting it to be as gory as it did. There were a couple of creative shots which I appreciated and there were a couple of moments that I wasn't expecting as well which I was like, ooh, something different. Maybe that's just because I was waiting through the, or wading through the boringness of this movie. The acting is fine and the idea is sort of great and I would have probably given it a higher mark if the ending didn't leave us without an answer. Even the plot and the synopsis give you an idea that you're going to be told what the answer is and you'll know the question when you get to it. But the fact that they don't and they just leave it like amb ambiguity, they just leave it for you to, to kind of figure out, you make up your own mind about this ending. This is not one of those movies that should do that in this film. It's not one of those. You should tell us the answer. And so because of that, I'm going to give a one and a half Nicolas Cage's out of five. <laughs> and you got one. Congratulations. It's seriously bad in its pacing. It needed another edit and it needed something else to give it more oomph. And then you need to give your audience the answer to your story. Especially dial back the preachiness of your script. For me, this was a pass and I kind of want my time back. So let me know, did you enjoy this movie? Did you find it worthwhile watching? I didn't find it scary or that much entertaining. I just found it kind of honestly a bit bleh. So let me know your thoughts below. Got a cornucopia of content on our channel at the moment. New stuff, lots of stuff on the Bearded Ones Patreon, which starts at just one pound. Over 65 videos there. We have our audio podcast, the best thing that we watched that we do every week with Movies and Munchies. So loads on there. If you want to support us at all and you do like our content or my content, then please, however you can, like, subscribe, jump on the, the Bearded Ones Patreon. Whatever you're doing, if you're watching this review and you're still here at the end listening to me talk about the all the stuff we have. Thank you so much for your time. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.